speak. So it's good to see. Good to see. Honestly, like you said, uh, yeah. Good to see that we have Icy Miss kind of come back to the fray as well after taking a little bit of a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Icy Miss is a very, very, very talented player. Uh, I remember I, I wasn't familiar with the name at first, and I was like, "What the hell happened? Like, who this? Where did this person come from? Why are why are they killing everybody?" And it turns out they had uh, they had uh, some life stuff going on, and uh, yeah, they finally came back and just started killing it. And I'm I'm happy to watch uh, Icy Miss play. Very, very fun player to watch. Yeah, very good. Oh, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. I don't even know if I see Miss Man Random. I'm going to say he did just for the sake of me looking smart. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, did? All right, I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> I, I feel like we don't I, even know because Icy Mist just does so well. Like, look at that. Yeah, look at yeah. that, that disrespectful walk away just to turn around into the dash attack. I love it. Yeah, walking's actually really good versus uh, this character only because you don't want to just keep holding forward while they're throwing projectiles and just yeah. not taking unnecessary damage. You want to be able to react as soon as possible and then understand when they make the commitments with moves like boomerangs and have small openings in that gap. Really good mm. boomerang to downer. That's quite the killer there. I was going to say, that's kind of the classic as, as anybody has seen here. Young Link is actually, actually all three Links do a really good job against Peach just because Peach doesn't really accelerate in approaching and Young Link can actually approach with projectiles. Yeah, yeah for sure. Young, Young Link is, uh, well, pretty much like Toon Link and Young Link or any character like that. Peach has always struggled in these types of matchups only because the way that she wants to float to get in gets beat out by a projectile. And uh, combined with Young Link also having really good aerials and aerial drift in general, it's just kind of difficult for Peach. It all comes down to how good the Peach is at uh, edge guarding, in my opinion. Yeah, um, I mean, and we'll see. I don't think we have, we've seen Icy Mist really have the opportunity to send Ashton off stage too much. I mean, we got that first thing right there and gonna be able to get the Peach Bomber to close out that stock. We'll have to see if Icy Mist can find more ways to get Ashton off stage because we haven't seen much of it. Yeah. It's just, you know, Peach has really good edge guarding tools in general and uh, Young Link's recovery is super exploitable. Probably like his biggest weakness as a character. Yeah. Outside even... of like struggling to kill sometimes. Right. Super good stuff here so far. Ashton doing a really good job creating this wall using the projectiles to just kind of keep Icy Mist out. And uh, that's actually, again, probably the game plan because once Peach finds a way in, uh, good Peaches can put down 70 to 80 really, really easily. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, and like yeah. you said, right, I actually kind of keeps that a little bit in mind. Like, hey, let me get the ledge here, but I don't want to be too overzealous because Peach can come in hot with a lot of aerials from the ledge, especially using her full cancels. Nice! Fast fall yep. back air to up smash. That's actually kind of a combo with all links, actually. With Link, he has a fast fall back air to up tilt, and then I've actually seen Toon Link do some pretty crazy stuff with his fast falls. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I, I gotta say, Ashton is, uh, he's playing as if Icy Miss mains his character. Like, he's not giving him any slack whatsoever. You know what I mean? No, right, right, right. Now, Ashton's doing a very good job finding these openings and just staying aggressive as much as possible. I think they're very aware of how talented Icy Mist is and how good of a player they are. And Ashton just does not want to love. They don't care Icy Mist is on random. They don't care if Icy Mist was playing their main. They, they're going to push this, uh, push the pedal to the metal, keep it on the gas, and just try to end this game as fast as possible. Yep. Almost got the double arrow. Oh, yep, yep. Definitely is at that perfect percent where pretty much all of his projectiles combo into a kill move. And uh, it's just really difficult for Peach to avoid that situation, especially at high percent. Because she always wants to float in the air to get something started, but you float in that spot, really easy to get hit by that. So, uh, yeah, kind of rough, kind of rough for Ice in this all day. Yeah, I think, I think it goes to show that, like, Ashton isn't is giving Icy Mist the respect, so to speak. Like, just because you're random doesn't mean I have to treat you like this is free. I have to treat it like I am playing where anything kind of goes, especially with the abilities that Peach has as a character. So good stuff to Ash and just kind of like keeping that sense of mind of like, hey, you know what? This is for pride, but this is also for myself to be able to handle such a character. And we're going to go ahead and see Cannon now on the board oh, as the random. I'm worried, I'm worried already because this is another one of those characters that isn't pick up and play. No, not at all. So, so, I don't know. Maybe Icy Mist maybe has some experience playing Ken, but if they don't, good luck. 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, but you know, I do gotta, I do gotta commend Icy Miss though for starting with random, going random this whole tournament, and even when facing elimination, says, "I don't care. I'm here to have a good time." Yeah. My I mean, question, my question to the chat is, who, who, who made the sub goal? Did he make the sub goal, and who fulfilled the sub goal? Right. I'm pretty sure Icy Miss <laughs> would have some kind of sub goal to do this. So, shout outs to that guy, I guess, for Ashton in, in his case. <laughs> Hey, here we go. We're going to continue to get some of this gameplay going. Uh, Ashley going to continue to apply these uh, this pressure using that boomerang very effectively. Just keeping Icy Miss off stage again and again. Oh, okay. That was a nice little down tilt into the retreating boomerang, though. Yeah, I thought that would be the down tilt up beat, but still really good pressure at the ledge, as you said. Ooh. Yeah. Mm, that's that's insane that that still combos at that percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so high percent. Yeah, no, that... Uh, Fire arrow into uh, forward air combos <laughs> at a lot of percentages, and it's really ridiculous. Uh, it's just sometimes after a while, like the, the fire arrow is going to set up a little too high, and that's where Young Link really starts to struggle to kill. Uh, Young Link is very explosive, but it, they're explosive at the lower percentages for the most part, and once they get too high, it just becomes a problem. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if yeah. you miss your percent window, it can be really difficult. Like, you have to rely on like, a raw, raw kill move or just like a really good edge guard, something like that. And even then, like, you see the fact that, like, Young Link's moves are pretty fast and powerful, but even then, he still commits them because it's the analog that's going to be the doom and gloom for him on this case. Oh, so close. Doesn't even get the back end of the down smash, but good on Icy Mist to kind of try out that opportunity with the focus attack. Focus attack not going to connect like we saw, but going to find that Ross for you. Kill that 98. <laughs> that means I mean, he was, like, at what? It was, it was a rage Ken, so I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but uh, Ken sure you can also just super, super strong. Yeah, I was amazed just because it wasn't even the linking hits, it was just a single hit. I'm sure, you can still kill really early. But uh, Ashton's still in a really good spot. Honestly, no real reason to change the game plan that much. Nice yeah. use of the jab, multi hit to get past the focus. I'm, but, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not like a, t a young link extraordinaire or like enthusiast, but I could definitely tell you in this matchup. It's really hard for Ken to try to find ways to get and it's more of him trying to catch Young Link on the defensive when he goes for Boomerang, which is one of his like more exploitable moves if you are walking in a lot of cases. So mm -hmm. for Ken to have to be playing, you know, the CQC while <laughs> Young Link is kind of all over your face Ow. between long, mid, and close range, it's really difficult when you put yeah. the matchup on paper. Yep, yeah, Young Link can run away from Ken very easily. Uh, he doesn't really care about focus that much because most of the time he doesn't need to be that close to where that's a that's a problem. And uh, even if he does get that close, he has tons of multi hit moves to beat that out as well. So uh, yeah, another really good display from Ashton, knowing what to do in the matchup. At this like point, both I want to so tell everybody in the chat and everybody watching the bot on YouTube, man, place your bets. Who is his icy is gonna go random still, or is he gonna try to, you know, get out the W here in winter semis, especially? Mm. If I were eh. a betting man, if if I were icy miss man, you do what you do, man. If you if you fulfill the sub goal, man, you play the sub goal out. But sometimes, <laughs> you know, you want to kind of go back to the character. But never mind, throw the script away. He's going random. Yeah, I would just yeah. think at this point, they've already gone this far with random. Like, might as well just go the whole way. Yeah, no, I know. You know what? Pit's not too hard of a character to pick up. Yeah, I mean, there is, yeah. There's I a lot of stuff to that you need to try and figure out with the character. Like you can't. It's not just like you're gonna have everything right in the, the palm of your hand. But right now, it's looking like Icy Mist has got it figured out a little bit. That's a good 39% uh, to start this off. Yeah, I think if there's any character Icy Mist is gonna win with on random right now, it will be this one. It's not a super complex, like specific type of thing you need to do. This is another one of those characters that rewards fundamentals really well, mm -hmm. which uh, Ice Mist does have. Yeah, that's kind of one of those things that, like, we talked, me and Steph kind of talked a little bit about earlier, right? The character that is Dark Pit and Pit has kind of been buffed to, like, in my book, in my case, he's more of, like, on the lower end of high tier, but he's got some really good moves. And if you can max out a really good neutral and a really good understanding of punish game, then for Dark, for both Pits, it's a pretty good character to easily kind of pick up. It's not that hard. It's more of like understanding how you can play with the character, but also understanding what you can do in the neutral against your opponent. Wow. I really mm -hmm. like that idea from Ashton to do the uh, reverse of B while holding the bomb there. Yeah. If Ice Mist jumped after that, would have definitely gotten that reverse of B to kill, or at least close to killing. Mm -hmm. That's a really good idea. 
Yeah, both players getting to uh, kill percentages now. We got Ashton at 128, Icy Miss at 116. Uh, basically, any opening for me, the character. Okay, the dash attack, not quite, but maybe if they were closer to the edge of the stage, maybe we could have got something going on. But yeah, this is a very scary situation to be in. Oh, man. Oh, wow. What? Ooh. What a scary spot to be in. Nice using the multi jumps of Pit, avoid that tech chase situation. And now I think he's at the percent to where he won't get a guaranteed follow up from his projectile. Yeah, good forward throw. Yep. That's kind of the kill throw of both Pits and Dark Pit. It's the actually only kill throw they have, but it's only available a very high percent. Good on the upper, too, because you can actually yeah. land that even with the tech on the center platform. Yep, the ultra delayed hitbox was just enough. Yeah, there's a very good lingering hitbox from Ashen being able to recognize, hey, I think the roll is going to happen here too, and ended up giving them the stock as well. So even stocks, but not even percentages. Uh, we'll have to see if Ashen can find a way to kind of get this going here, because Icy Miss is doing a really good job applying this pressure. Nice combo. Yeah, that was a good corner carry with two back airs, and then the hero spins to kind of finish it off. Yeah. Get down throw. This is an upper confirm. Yes, indeed. Right, good stuff. Ice Miss continuing to apply the pressure here. Gonna get that forward air, send Ashton off stage. Ooh. And just the raw forward smash, not gonna be enough to kill, but that yeah. arrow might be. Nope, they're gonna make it back. Uh, good stuff. Yeah, yeah that was a great recovery from Ashton, but oh my goodness, but turn around, side B, still not enough. And the reverse of B? No, but he is to get stage control from oh, this. Oh, that was good. That was wow. good. Down air? Yeah, I would go for it too. <laughs> Uh, this has actually just been a bunch of wild stuff on that left side of the stage. Icy Miss finally going to find that second stock, though, with the up smash. Not to see if Ashton can find a way to turn this around, because it has just been chaotic the whole time. Oh, yeah. definitely. Got on Icy Miss to use a lot of those jumps to kind of stalling his landings, too, just trying to slowly get away Ashton. That hero's been will not kill. Yep. going to be a little bit more a, towards... A little bit closer to the ledge, but I want to kill. Okay, Icy okay. Miss. Commander shield. Just not trying to get hit by this type of thing. Yeah. And like you said, you know, right, once you start to slowly get to that higher percent. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, you start escaping those true confirms too, but he was kind of close away from it up until the last hit. All right, we are now in a last stock situation, potentially last stock for Icy Miss in winter side if Ashley can find a way to turn this around. But, I mean, Icy Miss has been doing a good job kind of controlling the tempo so far in game three. We'll have to see if they can find a way to keep it consistent here. But right now, Ashton's looking to be on fire. Yeah. Really, really good uh, spacing with the projectiles here. Just keeping Icy Miss on one side of the stage. Not sure why he committed to the arrow while he was holding the reflector, but he's the expert. Also, <laughs> 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 beat. Not enough, but again, it's all about the stage control at this percent. Yeah, I agree. How, how, did, how does he get back? Yeah, I like that bomb right in front as well. Ooh. Very oh, difficult. Here. Okay, went for a roll read. Not, not too. Uh, Far-fetched. If he got that up smash to kill or work, it would have killed. And I know oh. Icy misses at random here, but you the fact that Guardian Orbitars was buffed at the most recent patch, don't be afraid to kind of whip that out because a lot of, you know, younglings hits more, a lot of less come from the side. And you don't have to worry about that when you do get the Guardian Orbitars out. Okay, still again at the ledge, just trying to find a way back. Oh. Ooh, that could have been the end right there. Ashton was definitely looking in the right spot for that up air. Just going to be off the mark a little bit. Have to see if Icy Miss can find a way to turn this around. And, oh, that was scary. Just doing a yeah. turnaround grab out of nowhere. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, yeah, use that Gordian oh. Orbitars. They have less end lag, and they're definitely worth going for in a lot of situations. And the good fourth throw just to get him off the stage. Slowly get the stage control here. Can he get something off the ledge here? But Icy Miss still surviving. Oh. Not going to press that jump button, but that I, up air. Oh, wow, he's oh. alive. I don't know how, but... We'll take it. I mean, this is a scary situation because, yes, Icy Miss could die to just about anything now, but, like, you got to keep in mind that now Dark Pit has full rage, too, and Ashton's at kill percentage. This could be dangerous for both. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew no. it. Yeah, I knew he it. I knew it. I knew it. He bet I knew it that, all on black, man. I knew that YOLO side B was going to come out eventually. But if he just held a little bit longer, potentially could have got the shield break, though. Yeah, it was very close to breaking shield, too. But, uh, man, that was really good.